Hi everyone, this is Great Angels, and actually I'm very excited about this. This is the first of what I hope to be many of the monthly Angel Oracle card readings. This is going to be a little different than my weekly readings that I do. The monthly readings, I wanted to add another dimension to the weekly readings uh, by adding a monthly reading. I wanted to wait till spring because, um, or well, March, because March is the beginning of spring uh, later on this month. And I thought that would be a perfect fitting to actually uh, meld this into what I do here. So um, I feel connected to use the fairies for this month because with spring coming up, it's all about being outdoors and enjoying nature. So I thought it would be appropriate to work with the magical messages from the fairies. So let's see what they'd like to share with us for this week. Okay. Ooh, marriage. Easy does it. And I'm going to use an, another deck at this point. I want to use Archangel Raphael. So let's see what he would like to share with us. Okay, Unconditional Joy. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Um, we've got Marriage. And it says, the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. Then we have Easy Does It. And it says, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. And from Archangel Raphael, we have Unconditional Joy. And this is a wonderful affirmation. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. And what I'm getting with this here, and by the way, I've got one other deck that I like to use, that I want to use, and that is the um, Angel Healing Cards from Tony Carmine Salerno. And I have selected that one, here it is. And it says, do it now. So we'll put that right here. And then we're gonna piece them all together and see what we've got here. So we have the marriage card here. And I really like this, it's a great start um, with the beginning of March here. Uh, what I'm really drawn to is this, it looks like the first quarter of the new moon here. So this lets me know that with this card, I do believe the new moon is on March the 10th. So this would indicate that this power of this card is most likely going to occur uh, for the whole month, but especially for some of you between March the 10th through the 17th, as the 17th, I believe, would be right around when we have the first quarter. But um, because we have the moon, this could also be a, a nighttime event, too. But you've got a lot of um, animal nature spirits gathered there. And, you know, this is all about, you know, as we begin spring, which is about new beginnings and blooming of things, we look at the need to, really, this is about commitments. And this could be making a commitment with goals or projects for this month. Um, you know, last week, and even this week that we have uh, currently with my weekly angel card readings, we've had a lot of people leaving jobs and starting uh, fresh beginnings and new projects. So this very well is, you know, keeping that commitment and moving forward and um, just seeing through, seeing things through even when times may be difficult. So you know, let go of any issues that may be holding you back in regards to limited beliefs about your ability to be able to uh, complete this, whatever, uh, you know, if it's your relationship, but it's, uh, or a relationship with yourself, or even projects that you may be encountering or exploring, but renew your relationship with yourself and your partner. And this is a great time to review any aspect that needs to be healed in any of those areas. 
This is also, you know, for some of you, this may even be that you may be getting married, engaged, or attending a wedding this month, where, um, you know, I think with even with Mercury in retrograde, if this is to occur, you might even uh, discover somebody from your past or be reintroduced to somebody that you've met before, or you may uh, be meeting people that you haven't seen in a while, or you may even meet somebody that knows somebody that you know from your past. So don't be surprised if that happens. Uh, if you have any hidden feelings for someone, this is also a great time to explore letting those feelings be known. But I really think that this is going to be about the first, I'm going to say the... March 10th through the 17th is where I really feel that this energy is um, coming into play. And, you know, this is all about um, a playful month, too, because I'm, I'm noticing the rainbows and the dolphins here. And, again, with this card here, it says, uh, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. So this is... You know, like with the like with the dolphins in the picture, you know, let go and have some fun this month. You know, springs in the air, so shake off the winter blues. You know, the this card reminds us to let go of those things that we can't control. And if you are trying to control the issue, this could be an indicator to back it off a bit. Uh, trying to force an issue when something has to happen doesn't necessarily reap the results as if that we would have liked. Uh, as if we would just let divine timing take over. So this is really, you know, I'm hearing let go, let God with this here. Try and spend more time outdoors uh, with the warmer days approaching. Get outside more and connect, uh, connect with the fairies and nature or even in your own backyard. And you may even want to, to do a flower garden to invite the fairies to your home. And, you know, while we're outdoors, here we are again. Uh, Raphael here tells us unconditional joy. And this week we had animals as part of our uh, weekly reading. And they show up again here, again. And this is telling me what I'm getting with this is really allow yourself to be loved and feel loved this month. And, you know, the, the, the thing that you want to really remember with this and take away from this is... Uh, you know, I had mentioned connecting with your animals and, you know, dog lovers, take take your dogs out outside for for a walk, you know, with the warmer months or the, the warmer weeks that are coming up ahead here. So uh, when you've got that time to be able to get outdoors, that would be a great time for you to um, to uh, bond with one another. And um, <laughs> I don't know, some of you may have cats that like to go for a walk, too. So I know some people that actually do that. So absolutely go for it. Uh, this is going to open up your heart chakra and allow you to cleanse it and invite more loving energy into your heart. Um, I'm also I'm also feeling with this here, you know, just like animals do, let go of any hurt feelings. And I'm what I'm getting with this is, you know, you can say hurtful words to an animal, and two second like two seconds later, it's it's back at your animals back at your feet. And they are just loving you like nothing ever happened. So the lesson to be learned from this is let go of any anger. Let go of any resentment. And keep your thoughts happy. And the healing card here is do it now. And this says don't put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition. For it's the guiding voice of your soul. And those of you listening to this, you'll know exactly what this card means when I read that. Whatever was the first thing that comes to you is usually the first thing that it is accurate. So let that uh, be a guiding uh, voice for you for this month. It's a great month. I love this. This is um, wonderful energy coming into play. So just commit to any of the projects that you have coming into play, your relationships with others and yourselves. Take it easy. Have a joyful month. Relax. Get outdoors. Play with your animals. Enjoy uh, the, the surroundings of the flowers that you see here. Uh, this is going to lift your spirits. So feel that love that's coming into your heart chakra because this is all about receiving. You know, this is also giving, but I'm really feeling and sensing that this is more with the receiving aspect of this. 
And the angels here tell us to do it now. Now's the time to do this, to let this happen. So don't procrastinate with this. And some of you, I'm feeling that you, you need this. So this will be really good for you if you follow this advice for the angels. And, um, another thing here is just to really enjoy, uh, nature and connecting and have a wonderful month for March. And I'll, I'm looking forward to doing this again for April. So I will see you next week, though, for my weekly reading. And that is already actually out on YouTube. So you have a wonderful month, and I'll see you next month for the monthly Oracle reading. Bye now.